Hey y'all, I'd like to welcome y'all to a little segment I call What's Cooking with Chuck. Tonight I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make some homemade fried chicken fingers and french fries. Now I know this isn't my normal forte, but old Chuck's got a few tricks up his sleeves. I got my wife Linda Lou helping me. My daughter Kiermay somewhere around here. The rest of the kids are out playing, so you guys are in luck. Alright, start out. Now you're going to find you a pot or something that you want to fry in. Now me personally, I got like a typical fry daddy or whatever and uh, get all your ingredients out. Now, what you're gonna need for the chicken is to get some flour. A lot of people use regular flour, but I like to use self-rising flour because I like my chicken a little bit crispier than most people. Then you get your parsley flakes, your garlic salt, and your regular salt and pepper. We got a flat top grill here because I plan on making some Texas toast as well, but that's just, that's something we'll figure out later on. Now when preparing your chicken breast, what you're gonna wanna do is wash them off real good because you don't wanna get some sick chicken virus. Then you're going to want to take off those layers of fat because I don't care what city or state you're from, nobody wants fatty chicken fingers. It's not good. It's nasty. Next thing, go ahead and start chopping slices. It doesn't matter. You can do them thick or thin. It's really your preference. Uh, two boneless chicken breasts should make it easily eight or nine chicken fingers. All right, now what you're going to do is I got my chicken here all cut up, sliced nice. You take your bag, plastic bag, you're going to dump out a reasonable amount of flour in it. All right. There we go. Add a good bit of parsley flakes to it. All right, then you take your garlic salt. Again, this is gonna be, you're not gonna be getting most of what you're putting in this bag because a lot of it's gonna be shaken up. Shake it up, there we go. Put a good bit of garlic salt in there. A lot of salt because, I don't know, what part of the world you're from, but here in Alabama, we like a lot of salt. You get your pepper, a lot of pepper. Pepper gets to me. You close it, I'm gonna throw it away, leave some air. Get more shake. Get all shaken up in there. Shake it up. is you get some buttermilk, your choice whether you want low fat or whole milk, whatever. It was snowing the day we went, so all they had was the whole buttermilk. It snowed like two inches, and of course Alabama shuts down. Those chunks are perfectly normal, that's fine. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take you a few of the chicken strips, put them in the bag. So it turns out I forgot to put the buttermilk on the, top, on the chicken. So, we'll have to redo it. Shake it good. And, take them over here, and stick them in the fry daddy. Now, while the chicken's cooking, my wife, Linda Lou, is going to be helping us make the french fries. So, without further ado, here's Linda Lou's television debut. Hey y'all, we're just slicing up these taters right here. And when that chicken gets done, I'll put them in the fry daddy and let them fry up too. Now before you get to slicing, make sure you wash the taters off real good. Get all that brown stuff off of them. Well, this is nice. I like cooking with my family. And the YouTube people watching, it's not as stressful as I thought. And Kiermay, she's right here showing me. Kiermay, what are you doing? Kiermay, get, baby, get that away from her. What, give her something to play with. Kiermay North, what have I told you about getting inside that fridge? I'm just joking y'all, our last name isn't Norris. <laughs> Don't kill me, Chuck. Now when you finish cooking your chicken fingers, they should look something like this. Nice and golden brown. So once they get to that point, take them out of your fry daddy, throw them on a paper towel, and let it soak up some of that grease. For your next fried adventure, we're gonna go to Linda Lou with her french fry. Now as far as taters go, you don't wanna cut them too thin or too thick, so this is about right. And then you just put it in here, don't fill it up too much or it won't cook all the way, and just drop them in there. All right. All right, now as far as Texas toast goes, basically you just butter both sides and uh, you toss them on the skillet. It is a flat top grill I got for Christmas. That's nice. My mother-in-law got it for me. Thanks, Tina. Linda Lou's still cooking her french fries, but once I get done, that's the last batch. We got these right here. And that's the finished production of the french fries. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
All right, and if you do everything right, this is what you'll have to eat. You'll have you some fried chicken fingers, Texas toast, and french fries. Now, just to go over a few things, when you make chicken, basically you chop up your chicken, make sure you got your buttermilk ready to go and your seasoned flour mix. Put the chicken inside of the buttermilk, make sure it gets good and wet, then put it inside the flour mix, shake it up really, 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 really good. Then you throw it inside your fry bat, make sure it gets to golden brown, pull it on out, and that right there's what you got. Linda Lou, what you tell them how to do french fries? First you gotta scrub your taters real good, then you wanna slice them up not too thin or thick, and throw them in the fryer till they float to the top, take them out and put some seasoning on them, and you're good to go. All right, French toast. This, wait, that's not French toast, that's Texas toast. Texas French, it is not the same. All right, Texas toast, basically you put a lot, lot bit of butter on the top, and then you uh, put it on a griddle, and well, we're good to go on that. And Caramay, what'd you learn? Oh, ketchup is not an appetizer. Good job, good job. Hey, Ma, hey, Ma. Oh. Of course, the oldest one would show up as soon as the food's done cooking. This one here is Chris, little Chris, the one you heard me talking about. The last one, chip off the old block. Look at oh, him. are you still doing this YouTube stuff? Yeah, uh, you know me, son. Anyways, check out some future videos. We'll have him in there with us. If you learned something tonight, leave us some comments. Let us know, rate the video, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see some of your own fried chicken, french fries, and Texas toast videos. Y'all take care, we'll talk to you later.